Hi guys, we're going to be looking at finding the distance between two rational numbers. This is very similar to when we found the distance between two ordered pairs on a coordinate plane. So it might seem really familiar to you. We shouldn't have to spend too much time on it. So this is a picture of um, a student on a diving board or an Olympic diving team or whatever, I don't care. Um, and the surface of the water is considered zero, or zero mark. And the diving board is at our 15 foot mark. And so this is in feet, zero feet. Um, and then it goes as, okay. So then when, we, when our diver jumps, they jump up five feet and then dive down six feet into the, uh, into the water. I know my numbers might not be very realistic, but I really don't know anything about this stuff. So what I'm asking is, how far did the diver go altogether? What, um, what distance from the highest point of their dive to the lowest point of their dive? When we're finding that, because we've got negative over here and a positive over here, um, it's important that you realize that you need to include the distance from here to here as well as from here to here. So not just what they dove above ground and not just what they dove below ground, but what they dove all together. And so speaking all together, we see from here to here is our 20 feet. And then from here to here is an additional six feet. And so the way that we work this out is that we take the absolute value of our positive 20 and we add it to the absolute value of our negative six. And so we should end up with 26 feet is the amount of, um, I don't know, space between the highest level and the lowest level of this dive. Okay? So that's the kind of thing that we're looking for. In the next example, um, we're going to talk about temperatures between Monday and Tuesday. On Monday, the high was 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And on Tuesday, it dropped down to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And the question that this, this is asking is, um, what is the difference from Monday and Tuesday? What's the difference in temperatures between Monday and Tuesday? So if you're figuring out this space, because we're talking, okay, we've got 45 degrees Fahrenheit here, and we've got negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit here, we're looking for the distance here in the middle. So to find that, I need to find what it is to zero and then what it is to, from zero to negative 10. And the way that we can do that without drawing this beautiful picture is by taking the absolute value of 45 and adding it to the absolute value of negative 10 and we pull out 55 degrees Fahrenheit is the difference in temperature from Monday to Tuesday. And our last example that we're going to talk about is our checking account. Um, so we're going to talk about money because those were the three things that we talked about, elevation, temperature, and money. So, and we've already covered the number line when we did the coordinate uh, plane. So your checking account is overdrawn. Your balance is negative $200. When I say it's overdrawn, that means that you owe the bank money. You spent more than you had. So it says that you need to write a check for your electric bill for $125. How much do you need to deposit into your checking account? So your electric bill won't take cash. It wants you to write a check and mail it in. So to be able to do that, I need to deposit some money into my checking account because I can't write a check if I have negative $200. So how much do I need to deposit to be able to cover the negative 200 along with the $125 for the electric bill? So just like these other questions that we've been working on, you're going to take the absolute value of negative 200 and you're going to add the absolute value of 125. And that's going to give you your total of three, oops, your total of 300 $25 deposited into your checking account. Now, I'd say you might want to deposit a little bit more. You're going to have zero money in your account, but, you know, this is your business. You've already uh, went in the negative. All right, so that ends our quick little lesson. I know you guys are shocked it's only five minutes, um, but if you have any questions, make sure you ask, and I'll see you in school. Bye.